Hey guys, Crewman here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys are enjoying your holiday time. In this video, I wanted to talk about the 4060 Ti and the, or the 3070. A few weeks ago, I did a video of the 4060 Ti, the new king of GPU mining. And in that video, I didn't really dive into details, uh, minus a few comparisons on like two different algor uh, two different coins on a very generic level. So in this video, I want to compare the RTX 4060 Ti and the RTX 3070 on a deeper level with a lot more mining algorithms. And for me, I want to reinforce why I am picking the RTX 4060 Ti over the RTX 3070. So the big thing, the most important thing when comparing these two GPUs for crypto mining right now, opinion is the price. And the price is all that matters right now. Now, some of you may be saying, Crewman, I can get a 3070 for so-and-so price on Facebook Marketplace or locally. The deals are not dead like you said. Well, everybody can find a good deal on a single GPU here or there. Heck, I just bought a 3070 rig two weeks ago that I paid $155 per 3070. And I am getting 4060 Ti's for under MSRP from time to time still on Amazon Warehouse and on eBay from time to time. I'm averaging about 340 to 360 on them. But that's not the norm and the deals are going away and they're going away very fast. People are starting to be aware of them. People are trying to scale up before the end of the year. So you are not able to find deals in mass anymore. So for the purposes of this video, I will be using eBay sold listings for the RTX 3070, and I will compare those to the MSRP price of the 4060 Ti. Both of these can be had with, without much effort at all and can be bought in mass. And that's how I'm going to be comparing the two. As I said before, the deals for the cheap 3070s in mass are gone. I bought over a hundred of them during the bear, the bear market for $200 or less. And I also think we will see a GPU shortage again next year. Take a look at the video down below. I'll link it down below. So going off eBay sold listings, as you can see here, I will be going with an average sold price of 325 USD for the 3070. And then I will be going off of the MSRP of the 4060 Ti. Those can be had for MSRP all over the place. As you can see here at Best Buy, you can easily get them for MSRP. And here on Newegg, you can get them for MSRP as well. This video will not cover the, 40, uh, the, the 4060 Ti 16 gigabyte as it is hot garbage as far as mining is concerned. And you should avoid it at all cost. So now that we've figured out our prices we're going to use to compare the 3070 and the, 30, the 4060 Ti properly, let's dive into the performance. And remember, there are a few disclaimers. The first disclaimer is I am using Rigo Miner for all of my testing as I think it is the best mining software on the market. My overclocks are pretty dialed in for efficiency, but obviously my overclocks are not yours and you might care more about uh, total hash rate versus efficiency. So use these, ref use these OCs as a reference to draw your own conclusions or just go with them because I'm using them, but do so at your own risk. Also, my GPUs are not your GPUs and you may get better settings or worse. Remember, this is a guide to see which GPU is better at which algo. And I am not testing ETH hash coins uh, as minus in very, very specific use cases and very, very specific time periods. I would not be mining them on GPUs, but... As I did not do Kapow algorithms, as I frankly just forgot to do them while I was doing testing, but Kapow is a heavily memory-based algorithm, so the efficiency numbers will essentially be the will be comparable to uh, any other memory algorithm I've tested here. So you could just look at the efficiency comparisons between the 4060 Ti and the 3070, and you can draw your own conclusions. So let's go over all the coins. We start off with with Prim, and we can see the 4060 Ti is just more efficient uh, and it has a better hash rate and this uses the same amount of power so it's a clear winner there. In terms of in Carlson, 4060 Ti wins out on efficiency, uh, hash rate and power as well, just a straight winner there. Conflux, however, it is a memory heavy algorithm. The 3070 wins out. The efficiency is basically on par, which is the important thing for me. You'll notice that the 3070, even though it will hash more, the, the efficiency will basically be the same on memory algorithms. And that for me kind of offsets the fact that you just, you know, the 3070 is just that much better at memory because as we know, it has a better memory bus. When we look at triple mine and Conflux and Radiant, you can see the 4060 Ti clearly wins out on Radiant while the 3070 wins out on Conflux. Honestly, in this use case, it really depends on how you want to dial in your clocks. If you want to be more efficient on the power or not, or if you want to tune for more Radiant or more conflux that depend will determine whether or not the 
4060 Ti or the 3070 is better. In Nexa, you can clearly see that the 4060 Ti is the winner. It hashes a little bit more uh, and it's more efficient and it uses less power. So it's just a straight up winner there. Same thing goes with Ironfish. It's just flat out better. Uh, Alethium would be the same as well as Radiant. When we go to Ergo and Radiant, it's kind of the same as Ergo and Conflux. You'll notice that the 3070 is better on gets more the 3070 gets more hash rate on ergo but it's and it's more efficient but the 4060 ti is better on radiant so overall it just depends on if you're going to go more ergo or if you want to tune it for more radiant it, it really just depends on your preference for those we can see the trend where the 3070 is just flat out not as good as the 4060 ti in memory or in core algorithms and in memory algorithms the 3070 and the 4060 Ti are the same efficiency, even though the 3070 will hash more. And as far as triple mining goes, to determine which one is better, honestly, it just depends on how you tune them. If you want more ergo, generally the 3070 might be the better choice. But if you want a more radiant, the 4060 Ti is a better choice. However, if you really, really tune the 4060 Ti, you can get the efficiency numbers to be on par with the 3070 as far as Ergo goes. Now, these these numbers, I was trying to get the best, the most profitable thing for me uh, at the time. So that's why I tuned the 4060 Ti on Ergo and Radiant the way I did. So now that we've done a deep dive into multiple algorithms, both core and memory, uh, single mining, dual mining, and triple mining. Let me give you my opinion on the results. Now to be trans, I released a video a few months ago saying the 4060 Ti was one of the worst miners out there and compared to the 3070, you should never buy one. A lot of YouTubers di also dislike the 4060 Ti. I'll link some of their videos down below and you can see them and make your own judgment on whether or not you agree with them or not. But I do want to give you differing opinions so that I can be transparent on everything. However, back then when I filmed this video, the 4060 Ti was the same price it is now, but you could you could get 3070s for as little as $200 and it was very easy to get them. So it was very, very hard to say, go buy a 4060 Ti when you can get two 3070s at the same price of a 4060 Ti, which is what I did for months and months and months. That said, I can't recommend to people the 3070 over the 4060 Ti at its current price point where we're at, you know, basically 325 and climbing. So ironically, the more people who disagree with me and buy the 3070, it will drive the price up of the 3070 on the secondary market, further reinforcing my uh, my stance on this debate, which is insane to me as I feel like the 4060 Ti should create an artificial price ceiling to where you shouldn't be buying a 3070 above, say, $275 in my humble opinion but if people are paying what they're paying for them i will eventually start selling my 40s or my 3070s to replace them with 4060 ti's so let me reiterate the reasons why in my opinion the 4060 ti is better than the 3070 it wrecks the 3070 in core algorithms in terms of power hash rate usage and efficiency first of all it wrecks the 3070 in core algorithms in terms of power hash rate usage and efficiency and core algorithms are a big part of profitable coins at this moment and i think core algorithms are the future of mining as well and that is a major positive for the 4060 ti second in terms of efficiency it either meets or beats the 3070 on almost every algorithm memory or core and i think that will be very very important going into the next bull run unless there is a new ethereum that hands down emerges as the most profitable thing where you could have like 50 cents electric and it doesn't matter i think the profitability window in the next bull run will be much more narrow than it was in the last one you know this is just me spitting out numbers but it could be even as low as 25 cents to maybe 20 cents where if you're any higher than that you won't be profitable and efficiency is going to play a big factor in eking out as much profitability as you can and then finally i understand that the 3070 is clearly the winner in terms of yield as far as memory algorithms go but on the efficiency they're basically identical on the very few instances where you where say a new memory coin shows up and you need to mine as much of it as you can where you know efficiency be damned those maybe two or three days you're going to need to get as much yield as possible that's when efficiency doesn't matter otherwise efficiency is still going to matter so even if you're mining less you're still you're still just as efficient so in my opinion that is why it does not matter that the 3070 has a much better memory bus than the 4060 ti and remember i'm going to link a few videos down below one of them is me basically telling you why i thought the 4060 ti was terrible for mining and another one is where i'll share a video from a youtuber named Ov ovalborn tech on why he hates the 4060 ti now i do not agree with him at all and 
in my opinion, I think his opinion is incorrect. But again, these are opinions. And I want you to be able to see his video so you can make your own opinion for yourself. But I do want to leave you with one final thing. The more people who buy the 3070, the higher it's going to raise the price of the 3070. Once these things are neck to neck in price, which they, in my opinion, they are, there is no reason to buy it. So the more people who buy a 3070, it's just going to, in my opinion, reinforce my first opinion <laughs> that the 4060 Ti is the better one to buy for mining. As far as resellability goes, I don't think that matters. I think that you're going to hold these for a while. And by the time everybody's ready to sell them, you will have made plenty of money on these things and you will just be selling them to other crypto miners. Most gamers are not buying 3070s right now as well, in my humble opinion. I personally am done buying 3070s unless I get a can't miss deal. We're talking like $100 or less, which I will never find. And I will continue to buy 4060 TIs trying to scoop up the last few deals and start buying them for MSRP for as long as I can. And I will be enjoying all of the 4060 Ti deals that are still popping up. One final thing I want to leave you with before I go as well. No gamer likes the 4060 Ti, as they shouldn't, as these are really terrible cards for gaming. The only people that should be buying these things are miners. So once the MSRP versions of the 4060 Ti sell out, and I think they will, and I do not think it's going to take too long, once the 4060 Ti sell out, oh boy, hold on to your butts because we're going to get a GPU shortage. All right, guys. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below. I love a good debate, and I would love to debate anybody who disagrees with me. Thank you for, again for watching. Crew Man, out.